here to tell you my story. I'm from Smithfield. And you know, when I left Smithfield, I always told people, I was from Smithfield, they said, where's Smithfield? <laughs> I said, you know, where they get the hams from? Smithfield hams, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing about me, I always let people know where I was from. I had someone in my life, Ms. Brayson, Ms. Elliott. They were people that had the influence and the power and the ability to help me to advance my career. They saw that I had the ability to, to play and I had skills. So they connected me with someone else in college. With and I was so happy to be able to, to continue my uh, education. From there, um, my first year, I was voted to the most favorite player. I have 25 points a game. Well, how many freshmen you know can do that? Mm -hmm. And I learned I was the first female to receive a three time, three years scholarship based on the Title IX. So I was the first female in North Carolina State to receive a four time scholarship. But there was a particular game, a game against Shaw University, against Denise Craig, CIAA, in North Carolina State. Uh, it was a shootout. I had 50 points and she had 40. She would come across the court and shoot it up, hit it. I'll come across the court, shoot it up, hit it. It was back and forth, the whole game like that. And that's college. And do you know we ended up playing on the same team in the professional <laughs> league? <laughs> but we got along. We were good teammates. But that was one of the most rememberable games. So I was a trailblazer. I was a, I was a person coming from Smithfield, changing things, rearranging things for women in sports. Who would ever thought this little country girl was doing stuff for women? Some of the guys, nor the girls at Norfolk State has broken my records to this day. Three-step drop looking. I was at a football game. I know for State Jack because I earned that jacket. And the head basketball coach, he stopped me and said, I like that jacket. He said, when did you go to Norfolk State? I said, I went back in the 70s. He said, I did too. He said, what's your name? I said, my name's Vivian Green. He said, oh, you Vivian Green? And he said, well, uh, I would love to have you on my staff. And I'm now an assistant coach for the boys' Boston basketball team. That is something I always desire. Several people have said, well, don't you want to coach the girls? And I say, no. <laughs> it's not that I don't like want to help the girls, but my heart desire is to coach the boys. So when you do what your heart desire, it doesn't matter what the cost is. It's what you do, what you love. And that's what I'm doing. And I've learned when you do what you are blessed to do, you give a blessing. You aren't a blessing. Money is nothing. I am rich in what I do. So when you have your riches, you can give. So when you give, it comes back to you. My senior year in college, I got drafted in 79. I had one semester to complete. So I didn't complete my senior year had a discussion with my, my parents and my coach and my athletic director. I said, I promise I'll come back and complete my education. And I came back in 85 and completed my education. I'm a lover. I've always loved people, even if you hate me. I'm a learn to love you. I'm commanded to love you. If you hate me, I'm gonna love you. I'm gonna find a way to love you.